down the interstate. This time I have my mic at level one of three. I'm not sure if you can hear the wind noise. Obviously I can hear the wind noise. So this is with the shield closed. Here's with the shield cracked open. Obviously that increases the wind noise in my helmet. It'd be interesting to know if that makes it to the mic. Let's go back over here. Shadow. Also, his blind spot. I actually got ran off the road one time because the semi didn't see me, but that was probably my fault because I acted as blind spot. So, I'm not listening to music today, but I'm listening to a podcast, and I'm thinking it's actually harder to multitask listening to a podcast and talking than it is to listen to music and talk. I'm a geek, so I'm listening to uh, the Security Now podcast with Steve Gibson. Oh, also, if you didn't know, I'm an IT person, so I'm a nerd. A nerd who drives a scooter in the slow lane. Nine degrees right now, I think. It actually feels pretty warm. I probably should have worn my. Uh, probably should have worn my leather gloves instead of these. These are pretty warm. These are the. What are these again? Ice armor gloves. But either way, I'm riding. That's what I like doing. I don't know if I can get Jenny to ride in this cold though. She freezes pretty easy. This guy wants to get over. That guy. That woman talking on the cell phone. Nice. No, going back. Going back to when I grew up, we didn't have cell phones. We didn't need to talk on the road to other people. We needed a text message. I don't understand why. Why is it today that there's so many people that sit there and text message, sit there and talk on the phone? Is it, could it be really that important? I mean, how long are you going to be on the road? An hour maybe? Can't you wait an hour? Tell them to call back? I know when people call me like when I'm driving. I won't even uh, so I'll answer it and then I'll try to keep it as quick as possible. Unless I got my earpiece in, then I'll talk for whatever, but I don't want to sit there and fuss with the phone while I'm driving. On my scooter here I got uh, I got the Scala G4 headset. So I can actually talk while I'm riding. But uh, People have gotten used to basically not calling me while um, I'm riding, so. Well, the one time I did talk, uh, I actually had an open face helmet, and uh, the guy on the other side said he could actually hear me, so that's kind of weird. So the mic was actually in the air, wind running right over it. I felt like I was squeaming into the mic, but he said I came in clear as day, so. I'm thinking the Scala G4 works pretty good. That's my recommendation. Well, they're a little expensive though. Yeah, we actually, uh, 
We actually got them, so I, we got the, the paired set, one for me, one for Jenny. So that way when we're riding together, if she's got a problem, she can just talk to me and tell me what's going on. As opposed to me looking in my mirror trying to understand what, what the different arm movements mean. It's just easier if she talks to me. Man, I have to leave my helmet cracked open because it's hot. It's like a heat wave. How slow am I going? 73? It's like 66 maybe. Yep, so I'm gonna get off the road. Got a problem. I gotta get over. Man, prior to today, my gas mileage has been around. Uh, so the actual has been between like 43 and 47. Just because of the cold. And that, during the summer, it was up in the like. 52, 56, somewhere in there, then it dropped because of the cold, and today, I'm sitting at like 51, 52, I know that the, the gas mileage gauge on my, on my dash is low by 3, 3, three to 4. That guy was singing, tried to get him on video though. And this road kind of sucks, they just did redid it. I don't know if it's heaved because of like the winter or something, but it's bumpy. And if any of you guys don't know, the suspension on the Bergman's a little stiff. Mine's a, I have my shock settings set at 3, which is somewhere in the middle, but it's still pretty stiff. I don't want to go any lower. I don't want to feel too squishy in the back. I already got a lot of squishiness in the back, so I don't need to compound it. <laughs> Alright, exiting off here at Waukegan. Means I'm close to work. Yay. This is always interesting because it's a quick merge. I gotta make sure I don't run into somebody or they don't run into me. Like this guy. He's going really slow. Let's go around him. Hey! There's another rider. Can't tell where he's riding though. Maybe I'll see when I get closer. It's a crotch rocket. Hmm. Yamaha Genesis, FZR, Phaser. Hey, look at the dogs. Woof. Am I going to find a parking spot or is this... Turn right. Woo. Hey. Am I able to park next to this guy? Sweet. He did ride in today. guy started working here. He's got a Harley. Looks pretty nice. All right. We are here. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.